Hello, New Life Kids, and welcome to this week's Pixel Party. This is our very last Pixel Party lesson. I'm super bummed, but we'll have another awesome lesson for you next week. This week, we'll get our Bibles. We're going to open it up to uh, um, I, I had a note with um, the chapter that I'm supposed to open my Bible up to. I put it on like a, a sticky note. Um, I can't seem to find it anywhere. It's like a red sticky note. It looks like, um, it was like on an apple. Man, where did I put it? What's that? Oh, there it is. Silly me. Gumby, can you pass me that sticky note, please? Gumby, can you, can you get that for me, please? I think we have a problem here. Gumby, I know you can do it. Just reach up and pass me the sticky note. I think there's a problem. And the problem is Gumby is too short. As a kid, you probably know all about being too short. Sometimes you can't reach up that high cupboard shelf. Sometimes you can't see over a bunch of people in a crowd. Well, somebody else knows all about being too short. And that's the guy from our Bible story. Except for he wasn't a toy or a kid. He was a full grown man. But he was maybe this short? This tall? I'm not sure. All we know is that he was not very tall at all. Let me grab this post-it note so we can find out where our Bible story is. That's right. It's from Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 2. Let me get it in my Bible here. All right. Now, it says, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man named Zacchaeus lived there. You know what? Let's put up our Bible story graphic and then I'll continue reading the story. Welcome back to our Bible story. Everyone, this is Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was rich because he was a tax collector. A tax collector was someone who collected money from people to give it to the government. But they were also known for cheating people out of money. If the government said they owed him them four coins, Zacchaeus would collect five coins and keep one for himself. And because of this, the people looked down on Zacchaeus. Huh. Oh yeah, there was another reason people looked down on Zacchaeus. He was really short. Look at him. One day, Jesus was passing through. Hello. Zacchaeus heard all about Jesus and was excited to see him. There was just one problem. Everyone else was so excited as well. Hey, oh Jesus, oh it's Jesus, it's Jesus. Hey, down in front, I want to see. Nope, sorry. Oh. Zacchaeus was just too short to see through the crowd. It didn't work no matter what he did. 
if he was going to see Jesus, he was going to have to find a higher up spot. Wait a second, he thought. Look at all these trees. I'm going to climb a sycamore tree. Zacchaeus ran as fast as his little legs could carry and went up into the tree. He had to wait there for a little while, but when Jesus finally reached the spot where Zacchaeus was, whoopsie, boop. Zacchaeus looked up at, or Jesus looked up at Zacchaeus and said, Zacchaeus, come down here at once. I must stay at your house today. Zacchaeus couldn't believe it. Jesus knew his name and wanted to stay at his house? Zacchaeus wasn't the only one who couldn't believe it. The crowd couldn't believe it either. Did Jesus not know who Zacchaeus was? Why was he asking Zacchaeus, of all people, to stay at his house. He was a sinner and he cheated people out of money. Hmm, let's open our Bibles to Luke chapter 19 verses 8 to 9 and see what Zacchaeus said. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man, too, is a son of Abraham. The Son of Man came to look for the lost and save them. And that's exactly what he did for Zacchaeus that day. It seems like everyone was looking down on Zacchaeus. They couldn't understand why Jesus wanted to be around him. And unfortunately, sometimes we can be like that too to other people. Imagine your teacher makes you the star student for the week. You would be feeling pretty highly about yourself. Then you got a perfect score on your math task. Not surprising because you like to study and do well. Then, when you're at your soccer game, you score the winning goal and your team puts you up on their shoulders and charges around cheering and praising your name. But you're not surprised because you like doing your best. Just like my ladder behind me, can you notice the plant up at the top? It's way high up there and it's looking down on all the plants below. And sometimes we have that in ourselves where we think more highly of ourselves and we've put ourselves up on this high pedestal, but when we're up there, we end up looking down on people who are around us. And that is what the crowd did to Zacchaeus. They looked down on him and didn't want to be around him, but not Jesus. To Jesus, it didn't matter that Zacchaeus was a tax collector or that he was short. It didn't matter that he cheated people out of money. Jesus loved him and wanted to be around him. And you know what? That love that Jesus showed to Zacchaeus is the same love that he shows to us. And out of that same love that he shows to us, he wants us to share that love with other people. Our Bible verse today comes from John 13, verse 34. Let's take a look. It says, You must love one another just as I have loved you. There isn't a single person who Jesus doesn't love. He loves short kids, tall kids, adults, babies, 
people who are older, clumsy, smart, gifted, artist, musician, doesn't matter. He loves us all the same. And the way that he loves us is the way that he wants us to love other people. For a minute here, I want us to think about our neighbors or people in our school. Is there somebody that you've maybe looked down on in the past or thought badly about? Maybe avoided spending time with them because they just rubbed you the wrong way or you thought you were better than them? This week, I want us to try and think about that person, pray for them, and make an effort to love them in the way that Jesus loves us. When Jesus showed that kind of love to Zacchaeus, it changed his life. Maybe our love can change somebody's life in the same way. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you so much for your great love that you have for us. We pray that with the love that you've poured into us, we would be able to pour that out to other people. Please give us opportunities to shine for you with our words and our actions by loving other people. We know that you will help us with this and we thank you in advance. Pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's our lesson for this week. Anybody want to take a guess on what our new lessons will be about next week? We'll just have to wait and find out and we'll get Cassidy to kick off the next series for us. Love you guys so much. Bye for now.